This is Michael Tellinger and uh, we're in Johannesburg and this morning we're on our way to talk to a group of network marketers in South Africa, um, close to 200,000 people that have developed a stock fell of a kind, uh, network marketing, and they generated huge amounts of money for their group, um, around 700 million rand that they generated. And what happened to this group is that out of the blue, the Reserve Bank shut their account and they accused the organizers of some sort of weird dealing and uh, running a bank without a license and all kinds of nonsense that they threw at these people and at this organization. Basically, they shut their account and kept their money. So what this points out is that our South African Reserve Bank is nothing less than a criminal organization that gets away with crime and theft of the highest order. They have the right to simply shut your account and keep your money and give you absolutely no reason for doing that. They will never ever face any justice. They will never see the inside of a courtroom. They'll never see any police arrive at their door. This is the kind of right they have. They operate above the law. They can do what they want to the people of South Africa as they have been doing for the last several decades. And through their banks, all the other private banks, Standard Bank, Nedbank, FNB, APSA and the others, they have the right to print money and make money out of thin air. So when they see anybody or any group of people that suddenly start to to rise in, in, um, in fortune, if one can call it that, and start to make huge amounts of money and distributing that money equitably among their people. This is not good for their business because now you basically getting into their little empire and they will shut you down. They've done this to millions of South Africans before and they will continue doing it to millions of South Africans after today unless something is done. This is why we're going to talk to them to tell them how the Ubuntu party will put a stop to this, how we will replace the South African Reserve Bank with a People's Bank that will never ever do that. In fact, the People's Bank will do the opposite. It will support the people that are doing something like this so that they can go out and improve the infrastructure in the communities, improve the lives of their own people in their communities, fix the schools, fix the roads, fix the, sport, fix the sporting facilities, and make their lives beautiful, full of abundance and joy, which is what our lives should be. So, let's vote for a People's Bank. After today, we hope that we're going to have another 200,000 votes from these network marketers that were robbed by our Reserve Bank. And hopefully this message, message will spread to other people, network marketers and companies that have been robbed or done harm by our banking system, whatever bank it may be, specifically the South African Reserve Bank, which is the kingpin of all the banks in our country. I hope this makes sense to you. Everybody inside here will make a solemn prayer for himself and for herself and for the community which we are working for. Thank you very much. One minute of silence and everybody, and I insist, everybody, because the person who's here today, he's going to say things which are important. But if we are not controlled, if we are not in the right space of mind, we might not even hear him. We might not even hear what he's going to say today. So I'm appealing to everybody inside here. Can everybody pray for this occasion? Thank you very much. In silent for one minute. They've deceived us. I don't care what your political belief system is. Because that must fly out the window now. We cannot trust people that lie to us and do not disclose this information. They've allowed the banks to enslave every single one of us. If we continue this current situation... Not one of us will ever get out of debt. Never, ever. Your children will stay in debt for the rest of your lives. That child there will be in debt for the rest of her or his life. Every one of us we will never get out of debt because the banks will carry on taking things from us. They'll take our houses, they'll take our cars, they'll take everything from you until you have nothing left. They'll close your bank account and keep your money like what they've done to you. That is a crime against you, a crime of great, great severity that needs to be reversed. How are we going to reverse this? It's actually very simple, but it will require your participation. Without you, we can't do it. I can jump up and down and tell you how we're going to do it, but unless you realize it, you have the power. 
And from this core group of people here today, your voice and your message can go to millions of South Africans. So, this is what we plan to do. We're going to close down the Reserve Bank. Yes. yes. And we're going to replace it. We're going to close down the Reserve Bank. And we're going to give you your money back. And how are we going to do that? Because we're going to create a people's bank that is owned by the people. It's owned by the government that is elected as a servant of the people. A government that knows that it's a servant of the people, that actually serves the people and does what the people want. My life now is very difficult because I don't even have money to buy some bread. It's very difficult. So we know that there are, there are a lot of people who suffers like we are suffering. I didn't even know that Reserve Bank is a private company that's operated in Switzerland. First time I hear that thing. That's what I've learned. That the government is really ripping us off because we want Reserve Bank to be a company in South Africa, not that private company that is running it. The banks have been creating money out of nothing, out of air. Because how come you borrow money from them and the next thing they charge you? Hmm? Is it possible? What I've understood is that the, the, the Reserve Bank is working hand in glove with the government. So it's not easy by any way or any means to fight against the Reserve Bank. Definitely I have a database. I'm going to go out there and call people to explain what is happening about Ubuntu that's going to fight for our rights.